You know, we have more than 80,000 active students at American Public University System. Our sports management program it remains extremely popular, uh, alongside with other signature programs like intelligence, global security and cybersecurity, emergency disaster and management. Are there other specialized programs that you see leading the way to help close the skills gap that you see in, in the, between education and the workforce? Well, I think in terms of especially sports, where I find myself now surrounded by people who are uh, studying or, or have degrees in sports management, and then obviously from a pretty eclectic background. But I, I think, you know, I was an operations research undergraduate, mm -hmm. and I haven't differentiated an equation for a long time, but I think um, <laughs> having a, a sense of statistics and what they say and analytics and analytical approaches to problem solving mm -hmm. um, is, is a great skill set. Um, we used to say about service academy curricula, which are, um, have a huge core, the core is two thirds of them, and they're about 50-50 humanities and STEM. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and even if you don't specialize in STEM and having a facility with it, having a sense of how we got the technology from the science and the scientific method or what's a systematic way to solve a problem, or not to be buffaloed, frankly, mm -hmm. when someone trots out the analytics, which people do more and more. And, and this is the practical application, whether it's sports or in any other endeavor, people want to know how you're being analytical about it. Mm -hmm. And I think having some facility with that, just understanding the, the concepts of it, mm -hmm. uh, I think has so many applications. Uh, but I wouldn't um, diminish this, this a practical sense of organizational management. People don't mm. necessarily know that. Mm -hmm. uh, if I may share an anecdote, we did a, sure. a team visit to an MBA team last year, mm -hmm. and uh, a man in jeans came up to me afterwards, and I knew he wasn't a coach or a player, mm -hmm. and he was a retired uh, Navy Master Chief Petty Officer SEAL. Wow. And he whispered to me, he goes, General. And I looked like this, so I wasn't he emphasizing the general part, mm -hmm. but, but he, he said, General, how long, how long have you been retired? And I said, just a few months. And he said, they don't know what we know. Again, not in an arrogant way, mm -hmm. but that this sense of how do you organize something and how do you communicate with people? Maybe acknowledge their birthday when a month comes up or, mm -hmm. or codify a process and say, you're in this position, now you have these responsibilities. These are the types of things you should be good at, and mm -hmm. let's see how you're doing. And then when you move on to another one, you evaluate that one as well. Just real basics, people don't know that. Mm. And so there's a practical experience that can come along with the educational experience, I think, that isn't to be underestimated, honestly. It's been really fascinating with colleagues of mine who don't pour over management and leadership books, which I do to a mm. fault. Um, but most, I think most of us in uniform are in the Department of Homeland Security, which is really complex systems and, and the kinds of things you've talked mm -hmm. about with cyber and cybersecurity, just understanding that some people will be able to do the coding, mm -hmm. but can you step back and understand the implications? And what we used to talk about on the, in the Pentagon was the people who understand the technology, how to do the coding, may not understand the strategic implications. And look at what's happening today with privacy, mm -hmm. right? Or how our behavior is being skewed. Oh, yes. Somebody's controlling the way we spend our time. Mm -hmm. um, and they're starting to be called out for that, right? right. But, but it's hard when you're in the moment to step back to say, what's happening here? What are we really trying to accomplish? And what skill sets are there? But what are the things that really should be red lines? So some pragmatic mm -hmm. notions, but also just having a sense of, ana of analysis and problem solving to apply, I think is, is in great demand regardless of the field. Absolutely, and looking at cybersecurity, for example, those human factors that you're talking about. Completely. It's, it's beyond the technical, but it's right. good to have that quantitative skill set, that right. analytical uh, skill set as well to be able so to at, do that. At the beginning of this Facebook enterprise, Zuckerberg said at BYU at a speech in 2011, there's a psychology and a sociology to the technology, mm. right? And, and right? And we're starting to yes. see it. That's how it's, it's skewed behavior. It's caused doubt, doubt in words, doubt in numbers. I mean, it's better to have a blank screen on your, on your glass cockpit, at least you know something's wrong, mm -hmm. than if the data's been compromised and you don't really know where you are. Right. Or in the financial systems, if, if there's doubt on the, on the stock market, 
these are real risks oh, absolutely. that that aren't just technical, mm -hmm. their implications. And I think that problem solving a portion and being able to collaborate with people and give and take uh, to, get, to get to the crux of these matters is, is a really valuable skill. And it's, it's something that we'll need for the future, Absolutely. for sure. I want to thank you so much for taking time to sit down and, and, and let us explore a little bit about your experience. Right. And I want to thank you for your time. And want to thank all of you for joining us with Dr. Michelle Johnson. Mm -hmm.